Knoxville, Tennessee. They call it the Marble City, but today it's the football city with well over 100,000 fans filling the seats. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Georgia State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Runs it right. Nice pickup. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 42. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at the 43. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. From the 43-yard line, first down. Right around the 34. That brings up second and one. Watch two, watch two. Hey, get, hey, get, get in the way. Let's go. Flag ready. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their out. concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Larry, Larry. Hey, check check now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. From the 19-yard line, second down. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. Personal foul, face mask, defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. at the one-yard line. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. It's the ninth play of the drive. And he's stopped behind the line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. We've got third and goal. One yard to the goal line. And he throws it away. Choose the mic, man. 
Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a game, six yards. Third down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Wright is waiting for the snap. Gets to about the 37-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. He's tackled right around the 30. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Tennessee is up by a touchdown. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 30-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's got it with room to run, and he's taken down around the eight-yard line. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. It's second and goal. About a yard to Pater. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. He makes the PAT. 
A six play 64 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. Brad I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score 14 nothing. Nice kick plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Hands it off inside, brought down. He scrambles. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. And he's tackled at about the 39 yard line. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. He pick up the first down and get a new set down. I'll give the defense all of the credit here. And that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second and 11. Ball in their own 38. Throws incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. They go with the run. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Barnett gets three yards on the carry. Right is the putter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Tennessee's showing what we expected them to do today, and this one could get kind of ugly, I think. Yeah, this one's about to get out of hand. I don't know about at your house, but at my house, we have a 21-point rule, and if you get down by 21, we turn it over. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he's taken down at the 45. First and 10, let's see if they can build off that great run. him hard at the 36 yard line. That's a good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike six. Mike six. He's hit and taken down. That's a team 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and ten. From the 22 yard line. First down. He's under pressure. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Makes his way out to about the 15. Gaining eight on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points.
Kicks away. And it's through the uprights. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. Tennessee's lead is 17. The Maglia has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That's a team four. That makes it second and six. six. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 33. Right to punt. And this one is a beauty. Brought down the 39-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. All day, every day, any day. My two, my two. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Makes it out to about the 36. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Good open field tackle. through his hands. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 28-yard line, second down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. That'll bring up fourth and one. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Jordan gets a call. They'll bring him down at the eight-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Volunteers! He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
a nine play 60 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Now he's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. goes at the 47. That's a play. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked down. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. run up the middle Game Game seven on the play. Play. First, first down first down 10 to go ball on the 15 yard line touchdown Georgia State Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. one off he kicks it off and he got all of that one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback so it's time to see this offense go to work again this defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone zips it to the back Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Mike two. Mike two. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's tackled at the 48. That's 
And they get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he's level at the 41. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He lets it go. He catches another. Touchdown. Big play. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. And he converts the extra point. DiMaglia gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down around the 21 yard line. Good possession there for the defense. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position back. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The Volunteers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Not sure that touchdown on their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. First and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. The Volunteers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Five wide. And he's tackled around the eight-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball. It was incomplete. That makes his third and goal. And he's taken down right around the eight-yard line. Jenny picks up only about two yards with that grab. They're going to go for the easy three here.
Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. And that's it for the first half, and this game is getting ugly. Tennessee's running away with it. David, wish you were here instead of Kirk and I. We start the second half in this lopsided ball game. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. To the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. And for Gentry, he makes it 100 yards worth of catches. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Tacks on the extra point. Georgia State gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Now they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. We're about set to start things up again. Roger, Roger. Choose the mic. All day. All day. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Let's go. Big opening. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. complete he's got space to work he's pushed out of bounds right around the 44 yard line they need about three yards to get the first here on second down nice run up the middle Bring him down around the 22-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Gets out to about the 21. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and 10. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. That makes it third and seven. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 19. Hits him hard at the 11-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Get 
gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the seven-yard line. That makes it seven and six. They're at the seven. It's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. They get three passes for touchdowns. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Tennessee is lining up to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He's scrambling. Slides down. Call it again on eight yards. That makes it second and two. Pressured and brought down. Third and eight, ball on the 27. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 31. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Tennessee up by a bunch. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they finally tackle him at the 28. That's good enough for another Tennessee. First down. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. the place and they'll blow it dead false start offense just a middle lapse but it's going to cost them five yards still, still first, first down. down come on D Mike six Mike six six blue 88 blue 88 Steps out of bounds around the 31-yard line, and they pick up two yards. That's a nice completion, but give the defense a lot of credit. They weren't fooled at all. They were able to hold him to a short game. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 31. Got it, and brought down immediately. Here comes the pressure, and he might want it all here, and does! Caught, touchdown, volunteer. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. He makes the PAT.
Bagley is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And off inside. He's gobbled up in the backfield. hit and still completed it. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Scrambling around. It's a fumble. The defense scoops it up. Young men on the offense must be completely demoralized right now. It just hasn't been their day. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He fights forward to about the 49. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 49. Tennessee up by a big margin. Let's go! Three, four, five! Three, four, five! Fires it out. And they push him out right around the 42-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Drill at the 34. That's a game. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Zips it to the tight end. Inside the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And there's touchdown number five for this quarterback. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. And he's hit immediately. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. He passes it. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Now 
he tries to buy some time. Dives for extra yardage. Throws it. They're about four yards away here on third down. hit immediately. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away. No good. He missed it to the left. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tennessee is winning big. He's on the run. Has some daylight. Tackle at the 41. That's a G. First down. Catches it, and that's all. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. That's three down and one to go. The Volunteers with a huge lead. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Four down, four down, two down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, False start. offense. offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movements on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 40. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Well, that was a big stop here early in the fourth quarter. They needed some of that earlier because this game is still out of hand. Johnson picks up seven yards with that catch. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up. And it hits the upright. No good. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Fires quick. Tipped. We had a great play by the linebacker. But let me tell you, as a quarterback, you almost rather throw against man-to-man -man coverage than evaluate zone defense. And here, I think this zone defense, I think the linebacker snuck up, and I don't even know if he saw him before he threw the football. Aaron and out long. Almost. 
almost intercepted. When you're in a position like this where it's late in the game, you just cannot afford to have such an unproductive possession. Right to punt. Booming kick. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Taken down by the kicker. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. The thing that surprised me today is that we know about his ability to throw the football, but here's a guy that can also hurt you with his feet if he has to. All of his success has led to their advantage on the scoreboard. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Tennessee looking to build on this commanding lead here. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 49. Game one That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. Very good tackle in space. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Down he goes at the 32. No game. That'll bring up 32. Larry, Larry. Eat it up. Mike Six. Mike Six. I always love to watch the mind games and kind of the chess match between the two coordinators. I, you know, that time the offense may have caught the defensive coordinator by surprise by throwing the football on third and short. It was enough for a first down. And they make the stop at about the 19-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tennessee comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Brought down around the 21 yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. With the pass incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. He's scrambling, and they got him. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. There's a little bit of 
of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Ball start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third, third down penalty. situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. The penalty digs them a big hole with third and long. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Right is the putter. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Tennessee with a big advantage. He scrambled. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Tackle made at the 23. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run up the middle. The defense had a great opportunity there and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Run and he's brought down. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Lucky flinch down there on the line. Ball start, start offense. offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way Still to stall second. out a drive. Second and eight. Ball on the 15. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. Chandler gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up third and six. A little over a minute in the game. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. This will just add insult to injury. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Jimmy Maglia has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. At the 30. Brought down at the 33-yard line.
Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He goes out of bounds at the 40. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Under heavy pressure. Rose and it's incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, the Volunteers 61, the Panthers 15. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.